Hi, Nancy Forrester here, the Executive Director of the National Emotional Freedom Techniques Training Institute. And I just got off a connection call with our community, we call it Adult Recess. And it's something we created here specifically as we recognized the difficulty during these COVID times of actually having other people to connect with. So we've been having a good time with some good conversations and then some some dancing and some singing and some, uh, you know, some game playing all in good fun to bring a lighthearted spirit and really to help our nervous systems re-engage again at that level of social engagement as the polyvagal theory would have us do. And one of the conversations that came out of that, I, I thought would be something you might be interested in hearing about. We were talking about connection, right? This social engagement system, our uh, humanness of wanting to reach out and connect with fellow humans is a natural inclination. And in times of threat, it's the first way our nervous systems try to get to safety is to reach out and find some another body to actually be there so that we're not isolated and alone. Now, of course, that's been a little challenging during these times where necessarily other bodies aren't quite there for us to regulate with. And so we were chatting about the different forms that connection can actually take. And that connection might be such things as, as the research is showing that the number of adults who are actually sleeping with their stuffed animals these days has really taken an uptick as people find connection with even those inanimate objects. And by the way, the number of people who are actually burrowing themselves into pillows. They've actually done studies in the number of pillows that people are bringing into the bed with them and finding that there's an increased number of pillows. It just makes sense, right? The people making a little nest for themselves to be able to find a safe haven. And of course, the connection could also come with, with live animals, with pets uh, that can provide us with that sense of uh, peace and, and safety as well. We also chatted about that the connection might be to an image or to a resource, that it could be to a place, uh, somewhere that a person has actually been, or maybe they haven't been. It's just a place that they would uh, feel a safe haven in. I remember working with a client some time ago where that resource was actually a particular library. It was a particular place in that library, a particular chair with a particular stained glass window with the sun shining in it in a particular way. And that was our resource to be able to help that client re-engage with their, with their social engagement system. So there are many different uh, ways that the connection can happen. Uh, and I encourage you to think about how can I bring that resource into my sessions with clients so that it's readily available for us? How can we actually expand the window of tolerance using that resource that provides that sense of safe haven, safe haven to that client and to yourself when you're in session together? Hope this is helpful. Take good care.